What's up folks, welcome back to another episode of my Hungarian Let's Play where we're involved in three wars, one of which is of course uh, Sweden self-autonomously expanding which is exactly what we want to see because we're going to PU him later on in the game, hopefully. Uh, another is down here in Africa where I'm hoping to separate piece Mali by annulling his treaties with Kong in particular, but also that guy up there, make him vulnerable. Um, yeah. Be nice if we could white piece him. I can get military access, so we'll go for a white piece here to have a short truce time with him if possible. But um, I think war repressions are probably quite valuable from Mali. So let's try to get that, see if we can get that. Uh, we're going to take a big chunk of land here from Noop, and then go into Kong soon after that, and we're going to prioritize the coastline. Really want to get this trading company up and running at kind of a maximum capacity if possible, because that will actually help us out. But we're also fighting, of course, against the mighty Ottoman Empire, and we, thank goodness, we we took a clean victory uh, over his, uh, a, a good engagement. That's what I'm trying to say. We took a nice, good engagement. Um, it means we're doing quite well in the show of superiority, which has uh, not always been the case. We've been doing quite badly in the in the wars of lately against the Ottomans because uh, our, our AI walks around being full derp. But uh, thankfully, um, his diplomacy is not so good. It's mostly Great Britain, and France is doing a good job out in Great Britain, surprisingly. A, a seaborne invasion. Uh, let's hope that he doesn't get wrecked now that he's on the British Isles. Interesting naval battle going on here. Looks like the Ottomans might have lower tech units because France appears to be winning with a smaller stack and smaller heavies. So the Ottomans might be so poor they haven't upgraded their units. But I'm really looking forward to uh, taking something like this. A uh, big, big chunk of land against the Ottomans which is going to um, open up opportunities for us uh, in the future. And by opportunities, I mean kind of uh, free little nations to expand into and uh, provinces to add to the empire. Really looking forward to that. Let's hope Bohemia uh, continues to do a good job. Speaking of which, he's got 70 plus thousand troops on the mainland of Turkey. Feeling really good about that. Bohemia is doing a good job. He's also a tick ahead of the Ottomans. So self-autonomously, he should be able to uh, win battles with those kind of numbers. I think Bohemia is actually just manning more troops than the Ottomans straight up by himself. So that's really cool. Uh, now this is something i got to be aware of, is we're not progressing in these provinces, coring them up while we fight this. So I want to swing back and kind of reseed to them, because um, we are going to overextend quite a lot here in uh, one or both of these wars. But like I said, uh, just trying to trying to focus out Mali, trying to get there with Mali. Doing a good job speed sieging his uh, land down with our four siege general. It's pretty pretty jud, pretty jud indeed. The Ottomans have moved moved their capital away from Constantinople, which is interesting. Meaning a lot of the wealth here that would be coming through is remaining in Aleppo. Uh oh, Russia. Dude, why are you so noob, Russia? God damn it. At least if he loses some troops. Uh, at least if he loses some troops. Um, he'll have less liberty desire. I really resent Russia at the moment. He's He does a really bad job kind of uh, microing his units. Losing us war score. Feels bad, man. France is, uh, is pretty interesting. France losing his navy is quite bad, guys. He lost a lot of navy and now he's got one stack. Um, on the British Isles. Fortunately, he's a tick ahead by the looks of things, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully, judging by, I can only see one stack from the British. Hopefully, that one stack is strong enough to kind of uh, contest that region. Those Castilian pretenders, uh, separatists, if the French don't take it out, they may walk onto our territory, so we've got to be aware of that. And if for some reason Portugal declared on Mali, guys, it's like a suicidal war. Portugal is quite weak at the moment, and uh, he's losing a war to Mali, strangely enough. So I'm just sieging up the Ottomans' lands, and I'm hoping that Bohemia um, 
does. Wait, his morale is low. Did he lose a battle? God damn it. That's my bad, but I'm actually... I'm surprised that that's the case. I'm going to take my military tech guys for negative five. That's pretty good. God damn it, dude. We got to watch him here. He should be good with France, right? The Ottomans are walking away. I don't even think we need to go in. France is two ticks ahead of the Ottomans. Yeah, good. Thank goodness for that. Doing a really bad job sieging that, that down. But we'll get there. Yeah, damn it. Not doing so hard on the war score against the Ottomans. That's a shame. Oh, well. Gonna mass siege his face. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Now, we are four ticks ahead of Mali. It's really imperatively important that we kind of smash this region before they catch up. Because we are here spreading our institutes. And in this day and age, the next institute to spawn is manufactories, which can be accepted quite easily he's going to accept global trade soon but also colonialism because we're here when manufacturers comes and uh, the enlightenment if he's doing well he will well any nation for that matter they will accept those at a much faster rate than they would other ones let's go for the ottoman capital with our siege five general up there we should be able to take that out perhaps in just a couple months if we're lucky mali's almost done Nice, we just finished the colonization of Barbados, and I'm going to continue colonizing these islands, which are worth more development than the mainland. Uh, his colony's finished here, so I suspect that he's going to throw down, and he probably already has. It's probably being sent out here, a colonist. Either way, slowly but surely, Cuba gives us more and more money. Really looking forward to the trade ships coming in, the treasury fleets, whatever they're called, because... We need that money. We need that money big time. Mali's about ready to peace out, and that's going to make our life really easily. Uh, really easy. It's going to make our life really easily. Uh, winning that war is what I mean to say. So we're losing 22 ducats a month, even while war taxes are up and running. That's pretty abhorrently bad. going to try back up the Russians here, as they seem to be blundering into another okay the ottomans are afraid all right are you done mali it's still going if we can catch his stack out of position it would be an easy victory um doesn't look that plausible the way he's walking around Okay, let's go for the higher developed provinces and stand on a fort. The AI doesn't like it nowadays if you stand on a fort. Goodness, man. The loans get higher and higher, but that's that's fine. We just have to simply deal with it. Lost one Diplo reputation there. Not sure how I feel about that. Tuscany doesn't like us again. Let's try to keep our relations maxed with him. They are pretty much maxed by the looks of things. So one thing I want to remember, guys, when we're at peace, is I want to try to diplo-vassalize the knights. Try not to forget about that if possible. Oh, wow, what the hell? Sweden all of a sudden is, like, not winning this war. I think he lost all of his sieges to these rebels. Come on, Sweden, you can do it, bro. For reals, you can do it. Nice modifier with the Pope there. But it does t it does cost us money. We don't we don't really have the money to spend. Uh, <sighs> sipping on some tea, guys. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, let's just get some influence there from him. I don't I don't mind that. Alrighty, let's hope that if we just uh, sit on this province here, that it's it's enough to to piece them out. If not, we can siege it uh, very close. We can siege it up pretty quickly here. Um, I'll send some infantry 
Oh, I, I don't have access to that province. Never mind. Okay. I saw that's 10 developments, so... I was going to siege that out, but forget about it. The Ottomans charging in here. Losing a battle. Wow, he's got a good general. That was a rough battle to win. But as long as we win the battles, that's what counts. Our war exhaustion is creeping up a little bit. And nowadays, we don't really want to spend our Diplo if it can be avoided. As we are integrating Russia. Speaking of which, guys, he's at a... 9%. I mean, he's a really large nation, and we're, we're slowly getting there. That's uh, good to see. Nice. So, hopefully... Oh, nice. Some nice cash from Mali here. Hopefully, these uh, war reparations from Mali are worth quite a bit. I suspect they are. I suspect he's quite wealthy. So, hopefully, that um, aids us here. Uh, now, Noob, I want that province, but I also want access to West Africa. That's the priority. So, we're at 42 overextension, but that will quickly go away here as we, we piece Noob out. So I think probably the most pragmatic thing to do is just to, like, really quickly, um, go for his occupations, piece him out, and begin coring that up. As fast as possible for our big victory against the Ottomans that is uh, upcoming. Okay, we're going to spend some money on in improving our colony. Apparently, we, we're doing bad with the show's superiority overall. We're doing bad, apparently. That's a shame. It seems to me like we've won just about everything. But, uh,. Game says no. Game says we're doing bad. Um, I'm gonna... we got plenty of time. Yeah, we're not getting taking war score. It's a shame, dude. It's a shame. But I'm gonna try to safeguard our allies a little bit more in, in these battles. It's Russia, dude. Walking around with these stacks of five. All these stacks of five, five, five. They just get pub stomped immediately. God damn you, Russia. Such a bad war slave you are. And you, you're trying to... You have liberty design the whole time. Making me support loyalists the whole time. You bastard. It is what it is. Got some uh, African rebels around this region about to spawn. That's no big deal. So. Can I catch some of his troops out of position and then just go into his capital? I wonder. Let's Let's see. Because this will give us a bunch of war score. Make sure we're good in Turkey. While we fight in two different theatres. Um, that's offensive battle. That's uh, offensive battle as well. Shoot. Just stick near my allies over here. I will raise war taxes again. As we're very far ahead in military. We're going to be at war for quite some time. Alright. Looks like we got ticking war score perhaps. It's a fort there, okay. Trying to allow our provinces to, um... Yep, repay the loan. Just take out another loan casually. Okay, that's on a fort, cool. Those rebels are not going to progress so much. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Russia's just walking in. Alrighty. Bohemia's walking in, though. We're good in that battle, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Probably these battles are going to start becoming fairly meaningless in terms of war score. But, you know, low enthusiasm, we're already at 30 war score. Against the Ottomans, that's pretty good. Definitely going to be able to take some land from him. There's no doubt about that. Feeling good about that. Okay, noob's been conquered. So we can technically piece this guy out. And uh, is that it? Yes, that's it. That's it. So that's only... We're doing well enough on our admin, in my opinion. You know what, guys? I think... Uh, I think we should wait 
to get this admin efficiency. We get 12 or we get 11 admin. No, we've lost our ruler. Yep, we only get 9 admin per month. That will soon be 10 once we piece out the Ottomans. Uh, I think I'm going to wait. No, there's no sense in waiting. Break his alliance with Mali. Break all kinds of alliances. I will piece him out here, but let's break his diplomacy. The thing is, guys, it's going to be more economical to tick this up for negative 10 instead of 15 to get the admin efficiency and then core stuff up. Let's rush down that admin efficiency. That's what I should be focusing on. That's exactly what I am going to focus on. Get that admin efficiency before we core up any land. And uh, we'll close the gap here by 10% with Russia, integrating Russia. So I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, it makes a difference. Hopefully, we can we can feel it. Oh, wow. I could declare on uh, Lithuania, guys. This is a pretty good time to, to clear on Lithuania. Uh, I'm not going to do it, though. We want to take land from each of these nations that we're fighting. Well, apart from Denmark, obviously. Uh, I, I feel like we'll get Lithuania in the future, personally. So, pretty much waiting for this fort. There it is. There's the admin efficiency. Let's see how much Russia changes. This gives us five states... Uh, development efficiency in universities. Ugh. All right, we've uh, passed ten percent integrated of Russia. Didn't help that much. Now our yearly absolutionism should be. Wait, what? Absolutionism is not increasing. Like it's still at zero. Changes by 0 0.1 each year due to local nobility. Which is that. Um... God damn it, dude. I'm new but playing the late game, guys. I hope I'm not doing something wrong. Make sure to hit me up in the comments, guys, with the advice of how to uh, gain absolu absolutionism. I literally haven't made it past this age. To the age of revolutions, guys. I haven't played this patch. So, you know, definitely fairly stupid to be doing something this ambitious. But this is how I roll. Uh, I hope I'm not noobing it up here. I think I'm actually going to try to do some dedicated research after this episode to make sure that I actually understand what's going on with absolutionism because I was under the impression that it would be actually it would be generating some right now. So I'll see if I can kind of find out what I think um, after this episode here. This war, war exhaustion is not too good, but we can uh, now begin coring up our land with some admin efficiency. A bit cheaper. A bit cheaper. And uh, we can go in against this guy. Yay! He's going to be really easy and hopefully profitable. He's five tick behind us. Easy breezy. Looking forward to that. But uh, we've used up all of our admin so our overextension is uh, pretty high, near 50%, but it's about to reduce a lot. And I'm um, looking forward to taking a big chunk of land from the Ottomans. He will already piece us out for, for this, which is a pretty good offer because it gives us access to these provinces which we can just gobble up freely and add them to the empire. But we might as well push it a little bit further here. Going to take stability from the Pope which is just good in general, but helps us with this uh, conversion strength. So air is only 66 now. Alrighty, Sweden finally pieced out Denmark, and he didn't take that much. It's surprising how much trouble he's having with uh, Denmark, but that's okay. Sweden can just slowly expand, no big deal, no big deal. Love it. 
good guy Sweden. So we're now technically at peace. Now, if we uh, do peace out, oh nice. Plus one missionary strength, no reason not to take that. So we'll be piecing out here shortly. Just uh, want to finish these, the core on these two provinces. Oh, I love having a, a nice victory over the Ottomans. He took a big chunk from Persia, the guy. But as long as we're smashing the Ottomans like it, he ain't no thing, then that feels good, man, to me. Feels real good, man. Keeping an eye on these electors, making sure we're good. Pretty much good. Oh, I'm really looking forward, guys, to the um, situation with the Empire. The religious peace. So this is worth 14. I'm really looking for the religious like war to end. Really looking forward to it. It's going to feel good, man. Because uh, we're really going to be able to pick up some steam once that happens. And it should be happening soon. Okay, this is negative 14, so how much overextension do we have? 22.8. 22.8. Let's uh, push this war about as far as we can, this victory. So 22.8 means we can take, what, uh, 72? 72 overextension, something like that. Right, 72. So let's push for this. We're pretty close. Oh, wait, you know what? I really want war operations. That'd still be worth a lot from the Ottomans. Let's go for something like that. Um, I wonder if we can convince somebody to fight. Oh, Russia's got, France is going in. Just not in time, though. Good luck, France. Take him out. Got him, coach. Nope. I hate it when that happens, dude. Ah, Russia's got this occupation. I hate it when that happens. Like, I've made that mistake a few times before. Somebody takes the occupation and then you're not um, doing it in the peace offer when you think you are, you know? So we're, we're pretty close to taking this. I'm just going to chill on, on this province here. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. A victory is a victory, man. That feels good. This is the first... Since our second war with the Ottomans, this is our first war which feels like we're really hurting them, you know? And I love it. I love the fact that we're actually um, expanding into provinces that I can add to the Empire. That was the downside of going into North Africa, spending our admin there. Although I feel like we've branched out and, and made a lot of opportunities. I was a little bit depressed about the fact it couldn't be added to the Empire. Because ordinarily when I'd play Hungary, we'd already be more into Turkey. But this is giving us a lot of provinces and a lot of future provinces to be added to the Empire. We're going to gobble up all of this. And uh, these guys have been at peace for a long time. Hopefully they have quite some cash to give us. Yep, but these war repressions are really important. And, uh, that's it. We're done. 72 of extension is pretty good. So now we're really far, we're, we're in desperate need of some admin. <laughs> so we're going to have peace for a little bit here. Let our, uh, um, let our admin catch up a bit and our war exhaustion reduce. And uh, with our army maintenance down hopefully we're not losing that much money but we'll have to see so let's grab the knights as a subject that gave us half a ducat per month that's something um yep and we're just coring up the land as we go here as we gain 10 per month power projections back up and running for now above 50 that's good everything's good in the hood and cuba Hungarian Cuba is um, slowly getting more and more influential. There's that nice CB against these nations. Free nations to be taked. Took it. Took a fight. Uh, love that. Any opportunities to expand are good with me. 
Alrighty guys, so I'm going to be calling the episode here. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Wow, we're making some money with our army maintenance down. Wow, let's pay off a loan. Wow, guys. <laughs> That's obviously the war repressions and so on. So as long as we can uh, actually turn our army maintenance down, which isn't going to be for long, we're going to have to deal with some rebels, we're actually making some money. Now that makes me feel good, man. Goodness. So uh, as we set up peace here, it, that really incentivizes this peace, chilling, corn up some land. And you know what? I don't feel like... I'll keep the one in the mountains, because it's a good place to engage the Ottomans. But this is just war score for the Ottomans to gain at a later date. Let's get rid of that fort. That should make us gain even more money per month. Cool, cool, cool. And you know, they didn't even walk into Africa at all, guys. Let's get rid of this fort as well. Try to make as much money as I can here. Uh, I'll get rid of this fort. Make as much money as we can because we need money. Now I'm going to have to think about uh, what I can actually do with my diplomats here, guys. But uh, I'm really looking forward to the religious piece. We're going to be able to move things along really nicely. 11% integrated Russia. That's good. We've got so many diplomats we should be doing something. So, um, yeah, next up, probably not next episode, guys. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it might be a bit boring. I apologize for that. But next episode is probably not going to be actually that much going on. Because um, we're making some profit while at peace. I'm just going to chill, uh, core up some land, and uh, yeah, hopefully slowly pull ourselves out of this debt. Um, but I do, I am still interested in this opportunity here. That's something that's coming up. We're going to be attacking Castile, but focusing primarily on Portugal, nulling his alliances with uh, France and so on. He probably does have a fort down here, if I had to guess. But I'm going to be really interested in uh, taking his kind of, uh, some of his uh, kind of colonial regions because I feel like that's going to help us out. So either way, guys, I'm really enjoying this. I'm feeling uh, pretty optimistic. Well, as much as we want the money, we want the admin more, dude. We ain't no fool. Let's take that admin all day. Core some land up. Uh, that hungry, though, that hungry, though, we're about to have some nice opportunities to expand. And I'm hoping this guy in particular, guys, has been at peace for so long. I'm hoping he has some money to give us. But that will be uh, in the next episode or the episode after that. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying. I'm doing my best. Uh, I'm going to do some research on absolutionism, see if I can figure this out. It looks like we're gaining some absolutionism, but like extremely slowly. Uh, yeah, and that, that's pretty important to me that we get that. Uh, yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.